Uh oh. Let's see if we can get this going. Test, test, test. Testing, 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 testing. Test, test. Can you guys hear me out there? Oh, there it is. Okay. Can you guys hear me out there? Oh, there it is. Can you guys hear me out there? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hey, Brian G is on here. Brian, how you doing, sir? Thank you guys so much for hitting that like button. I really do appreciate that. We really had a nice surprise today before we get officially started here. I got uh, a box of goodies from one of our players. Sent me some, uh, some lovelies. Check these out. Now, uh, the uh, the Postal Service was <laughs> absolutely brutal with them, so there's going to be some repair work. But uh, look at these gems. Look at these gems. Look how beautiful this is. Now, you know, going to have to repair that wheel there and one on the other side, too. Um our uh, our buddy Mac Daddy who uh, joins oh there he is there he is um, is uh, uh, and look at this the roof comes off how beautiful is that so you can put folks inside now I think Mac Daddy actually designed these um, and uh, 3D printed them himself and they they took a, a beating Mac Daddy and I I'm a I, Thank you so much, but yeah, they they definitely took a beating from the the postal service. Look at this one here, carrying a, just a little flat here, buckboard. It's got a couple coffins in there. Man, how awesome is that? How awesome is this? And it's got a couple um, lanterns on there. Absolutely beautiful work on these. So now I got the a hankering to do a, um, I wonder if those come apart. Oh, oh, of course they do. So look at that. Look at that. The coffin lid comes off. Holy cow. Now it's my understanding that Mac Daddy designs all of this stuff, uh, himself. He's quite the, uh, quite the 3d, uh, sculptor on this sort of stuff just absolutely awesome so this one would be for this here this u.s marshals and again the roof um i think the, yep the roof comes off look it's got the little uh area back here you can put characters standing on the back of it there it's got the seat up front uh so you can put somebody in the back and take the lid off uh take the roof off if you want to get get down in there uh so absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful work and this is the uh and then he sent me a bunch of horses as well check these out over here check these out again the the post office really did not do us any favors and i don't know what they did to this box but uh yeah and one of the horses even lost a leg uh, but all of this is repairable. It's not a big deal at all. Um, yeah, this one here, this one here even had one of his, one of his legs come off of there. What, what did they do to this box to cause, you know, all of these things to break, but no biggie. It's all fixable stuff. A little bit of super glue goes a long way. Now check this out. Check this little darling here out. So now I gotta I gotta get a western going again. Now I'm excited. I got a hankering. I got a hankering to do a western. Westerns really are a big part of the pulp genre. 
uh, when you look at the different pulp magazines that were produced uh, in the 19, you know, really the, the golden age for the pulps is the 20s and 30s. Uh, and Westerns were a big part of that. That was a huge segment of the uh, pulp. Um, and also, if you're, if you're a fan of the cereals, uh, cereals were, were huge with the Westerns as well. And look at this, Professor Phipps's snake oil. Very nice. Very nice. Big old area for standing on the back here selling my snake oil. And of course, the roof comes off. How awesome is that? Just beautiful work on these. Beautiful work. Absolutely awesome. So tonight we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to show you actual examples of the new cards. Are we starting? Oh, yeah, we started a minute ago. So let's get this box opened up. Let's get this box opened up. Hey, everybody, this is Dave here at Pulp Valley. And... I'm all alone tonight. Um, June is is running a little bit of a fever. Uh, we don't know if it's the COVID right now or if um, she's also teething, so that can get a little bit of a fever as well. So she's got she's getting her chompers in. So. Uh, I like to when I have time and I can and I can do it. I like to uh, to uh, you know print a test deck just to get a feel for how the cards are coming out. So here they are. Uh, here they are. The uh, the first two of the decks. So this is. Um, this is the heroes and personalities and really a lot of fun stuff to do with this. I, I really want to share some ideas and why these cards are really work so well. Um, now you've got, uh, this is the heroes and personalities deck. Um, I just want to say right now that it does not have 55 cards. It will have 50 cards. Um, this was a change that was done after the test was made. I talked to Bob Merch and, talking about how to put together the decks and everything. And uh, we just came to the conclusion that it'd be better to aim for about 50 cards rather than 55 or, or more. So that's, um, that's a, that's a change. Other than that, the rest of this is the same. First deck here is the heroes of personalities. Again, these are cards that are, that mimic the profiles for the pulp figures, characters out of the, uh, the character's book. Now, a lot of those cards uh, go together and form leagues. So, for example, let's see. Here's a, you could use this as a league. You know, you have, uh, you have your, your leader, of course, is free. Your sidekick is three points. And then two, four, six, that's, that's a nine points. That leaves you with one extra point. So you could add in an, a follower. You could put in a one-point perk or something like that. What's so nice about these, I think, is that it also gives you a lot of flexibility to just switch out characters. You know, you go, you know what? I, I really like that. I really like that 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 uh, sidekick out of that next league, and I, I I think I'd rather take that instead. So there you go. You know, how awesome is that? You know, you could just mix your characters around so easy and fast and go, you know what? I don't want Percy. I want Holtz instead. And and you can build your leagues so fast and easy with this and rearrange them. You know, Pulp Alley, your leagues uh, are not intended to be have a permanent roster and it always has the same characters. Really, the only the only real permanent character is the leader. Everybody else can be swapped out. So when uh, your character could be a globe-trotting archaeologist, and when he's in Canada, well, he he meets up with his Canadian buddies, you know. And when he's in uh, Egypt, then he meets up with his Egypt buddies. Or when he's in uh, China, you know, you can do that where you swap the characters out. 
even from one scenario to the next. If you if you go, you know what? I don't I don't think I want to take that ally next time. I want to try this ally instead. And it gives you a lot of fun where you can kind of mix your characters around. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I mean, that's that's the way Pulp Alley is really designed to be played. Now, you can leave your characters exactly the same all the time. And we a lot of our leagues we do that with. Um, I guess the, the one league that we swap out characters with the most would be the Phantom Agents because it, we have that built-in character. We have more allies than Phantom Ace can actually take. So you could just as easily go, you know what, I want to take Phantom Ace and I want to take, uh, you know, Betty Bixler and Roswell, you know, so you can mix those characters or mix those characters around. Now, not only do you have the really cool artwork from Bob Merch on these cards, the backs are nearly completely blank with just the artwork. Doesn't even tell you the level. So you can make this character whatever level you want, you know, fill in your stats, give them whatever ability you want and fill in the, the health line. And there you go. You have your own character that way. So that gives you a bunch of, you know, freedom to just make up your own characters or, you know, the fast and easy way, use the ones that we've put together, whichever, whichever way works for y'all, whichever way works for y'all. Let's see. And then I wanted to show you. So I, I think, I think right now we're looking at a total of eight decks and all of the decks are going to be between about 50 and 52 cards. So I've got two of them really finished, and then I'm about halfway through Gangland Justice, which is deck number three. So I was working on that yesterday. Really didn't get a chance to work on it today, but um, that's going to be the next deck, and then on and on and on. So based on the feedback from folks today, I really think that we're going to just hold off until we have everything ready. And hopefully that won't be too long. You know, it may take me a couple more weeks to get everything ready. Um, and uh, who knows who Dan O'Bannon is? You guys know who, who Dan O'Bannon is? That's, that's a I throw little uh, names in once in a while because I, I like uh, I like to, uh, you know, it's a little homage, I guess, to Dan. Uh, Dan wishes he looked like this guy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so I wanted to also show you, uh, so those are the those are the pulp figures decks. Um, gonna be about 50, 52 cards. They're going to be, um, you know, character art. They're going to have uh, on both sides, it'll have character art. And then it'll have stats on one side and then blank for you to fill out on the other side. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about these. I to use these. Now, I wanted to show you this core characters deck because that's important that you understand what this is. This is a replacement to the... Uh, the old uh, packs, the uh, leader pack, the sidekick, the ally, the follower, all of those, those are going away and are being replaced by this deck here instead. So let me show you what I got here. Again, this, uh, this says 55 cards on it, but it is not. Uh, it will not actually have 55 cards. It'll have 50 cards when we actually do the um, uh, the production versions of them. So uh, on this, it has these, uh, it has, uh, what is it? Something like six different gangs. Um, I think uh, six different gang cards. And then on the back, it has uh, stats for making your own gangs as well. So fill in this. Now, absolutely no sketch, no artwork at all on these, no name. So this is for you to fill out and to use for whoever you want to use. So again, quick and easy. These are the sort of characters. These I, I designed these specifically 
to work in just about any genre you could imagine. So if you're wanting to do retro sci-fi, if you're wanting to do post-apocalypse, if you're wanting to do, um, uh, you know, uh, horror or uh, westerns, whatever you're wanting to do, war tales uh, out of the pulp genres, these cards give you a head start and, and just you can go through here and pick out cards that you want to use, characters that fit, uh, and you really can't go wrong. You know, it's really about picking out the abilities that you want for that character. Let's see here. Let me show you what we got here. So um, on the uh, on the backs of these cards, they are just completely blank. Like whatever level you want to make them. So that gives you 50 uh, blank cards. Now, I think six of them are gangs. Uh, and the rest of them uh, are, could be any level, any character you want it to be. You just fill it out. And then on the other side is the uh, the stats for characters that, that we have made up for you. So you have a bunch of sidekicks here. Uh, you have a bunch of leaders. You have a bunch of allies. You have a bunch of uh, you know followers. So very, very, I, I use these cards a lot. These are the sorts of characters that I, I purposefully make these decks because they are something that I use and that I want to use. So these are the characters that when I want to do a Western, you know, I could pull this deck out and I can go through that deck and I can pick out, you know, a handful of characters and go, those are my Western characters. If I'm wanting to do a post-apocalypse setting, I can go through this deck and go, you know what, here's, here's, you know, this character and this character and this character. These are, and I hate to use the word generic, but I'll just say they're my favorite. They're my favorite character designs. They're the sorts of characters that I use frequently, uh, you know, over and over again, especially when you get to the allies. Uh, there, are, there are a few interesting allies in there. But there are some very basic, those sorts of allies, you know, the, the, the shooters and the brawlers that, you know, you're just going to want to have in most of your scenarios. All right, boys and girls, I also wanted to tell you that Mr. Bob Birch is going to be at Gen Con. Uh, so any of you guys that are lucky enough to go to Gen Con this year, be sure and swing by and say hi to Bob Merch. He's going to have some Pulp Alley stuff. Uh, so he's going to have some uh, China Station books and the characters book, a lot of stuff that probably most of you already have. But if you're going, swing by and say howdy to him. And he's going to have some Pulp Alley stickers. So don't dawdle. Swing by there fairly early and get, get a Pulp Alley sticker from him. Uh, see if you can twist his arm a little. Don't actually twist his arm. He's a, he's a sculptor, remember. Handle, handle with care. Hand, hand, no twisting of, of Bob's arm. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for us. Um, and, and take a minute to hit that bell uh, because uh, make sure it's clicked that you get those notifications. That's the only way that we can really make sure that y'all know when we upload a new video. So on Sunday... I'm planning to do a, record a solo game between now and Sunday, and then I'll upload it, and I'm going to play it as a premiere on Sunday. And I think what that means is, because I haven't actually done it before, I, I think what it means is that we will still have a chat function so that we can actually sit there and chat with y'all while, uh, while the video is playing so we can still... Uh, you know, have the community camaraderie and everything kind of going as well. So I hope you guys will join us for the premiere on Sunday. Let's see. Uh, making characters, making leagues, like and subscribe. The cool stuff from Mac Daddy. How freaking awesome is this? How freaking awesome is this? A little bit of repair work. It's nothing, nothing that I'm not using. So I, I can take care of that very easily. So uh, absolutely thrilled to get some, some awesome uh, 
Wild West stuff. So that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Who's this? Heroes and Villains Pulp War Gaming in Indianapolis. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us over here. Don't thank me. Thank you, Google. Ah, 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 the old, um, the old recommendation sort of thing. Well, take a minute and hit that like and subscribe to us. Uh, we, we do about three or four videos a week. Um, well, our next video will be a lot, uh, will be a game, a full game that'll be played out on Sunday. Uh, we are taking a break from the live videos that we were doing for gosh, over a year or so, uh, doing the live videos, but the last few have had a lot of issues. YouTube is having a lot of issues handling our, our live videos. So we're going to have to drop off on that. All right, boys and girls, I don't really have anything else. Let me double check my list. Let me, I had a list here. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're in the UK, uh, be sure and look for Sally Forth to carry these cards. Be sure and look for Sally Forth to carry the, uh, the decks. Uh, I haven't confirmed 100% with Chris that he's going to carry these. Uh, but, um, but I expect him to, he carries an awful lot of Paul Valley stuff. And then, uh, Bob Merch in Canada is going to be carrying these decks as well on his store. That's the plan right now. So that's going to be awesome for Canadian players as well. So definitely keep an eye on, on Bob Merch's store and on the, uh, Paul Valley players group to make sure that you know when when those are going to be available. I wanted to show you this real quick too. So we're going to have a roster on the back of the uh on the back of the slip card. It's going to have, you know, the heroes of personalities and then it's going to tell you right there on the back of the card which packs of pulp figures uh are included in that deck. Now again, there's one pack that isn't actually going to be in this so don't don't pause this so that you you know it's actually the uh, the uh, rugged rugged sons of the empire is actually getting moved to a different deck uh, so that's that's not going to be in there but the rest of these I believe are going to be in this in this deck so get over to pulpfigures.com and check them out if you're in uh, if you're going to um, if you're going to Gen Con be sure and swing by. Uh, Bob's booth, and rumor has it that he's going to be trying to play some games of Pulp Alley as well. He's got uh, a booth, I think, kind of set up with Crocodile Games, so I think they're going to kind of share a table and, and do some demo games and have some fun there, so definitely worth swinging by and uh, saying howdy to Bob. That's all I have for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure and leave a comment down below. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Dun 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 dun